What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your razz right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account, you click it, you can become a member. All you got to do is recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to. Now, with that being said, we're here today with another trailer reaction. Yes, I promise you guys a content dump, and that's what you guys are getting. I'm going to react to the new Purge trailer, The Forever Purge. Now, keep it a buck. The previous Purge movie sucked balls. I hated it. I actually got a pre-screening to that shit, and I was just so disappointed with the direction that they went. It was cool that they wanted to show a prequel to The Purge, but it was just so fucking horribly done that I just didn't care about it, right? So let's go ahead and get into this Forever Purge. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Let's get into this thing real quickie. Let's go. The annual purge will conclude in three, two, one. Thank you for your participation. We survived. Okay, All police and emergency services have been reinstated. All crime, including murder, That'll be so crazy. is Why now illegal. Come on, let's get to work. One night only. The rest of the year is peaceful. This must be like Texas or something. your steel walls no more powerless how's that feel this is the real purge the forever purge oh my god they're coming they're coming come on follow me there's nowhere safe to go no way to get help oh my god we gotta find another way to get out of here country's gonna collapse. Mexico was opening its borders for the next six hours. Let's go. We're in this together. Translate. I think it's not Russian. Does this translate? Zip plane, boss. Zip plane. All right, that was the trailer for the Forever Purge. And um, yep, yeah, that's the trailer for the Forever Purge. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. This movie does not look that great. Uh, it looks like it could possibly be better than the previous Purge film. That's not saying a lot because the last purge room, I believe it was the first purge, was whack as shit. So anything could be better than this. A turd on a sidewalk on a summer day is better than the last uh, purge movie. But the purge series is starting to become like Saw. You're only going to see it to experience the killing, the gore, the mayhem. You know, um, that's kind of what you're just going to see these movies for. There's no real like you're going to it for a plot. It's just really just a popcorn flick. It's like the Saw franchise. It's starting, it's like what Fast and the Furious has become. It's really just a popcorn flick. You just go watch it to see it, just to watch some, like, some cool shit, you know? This is a popcorn flick for horror fans. Do I think this is going to be an extravagant movie? No. I mean, it might be like mediocre at best, but at the same time, I'm willing to watch it and give it my honest opinion with, like I always do here. So, I didn't see nothing special about this. It seemed okay. I mean, I thought it was a cool idea. They See, this is the problem with the Purge series. They find really interesting avenues to explore, but then they don't do it correctly or in an interesting manner. They do, I don't know, bro. 
they just don't know how to execute these films. Like the first, like I said, they did the first perch, dope ass idea. Just didn't know how to like the characters that they picked, the actors that they picked, they just couldn't deliver. Now they have this one, which is the day after, which is another interesting aspect, but at the same time, it's like kind of boring. Like, you know, well, not kind of boring. I don't want to say boring because I haven't seen the movie, but the characters you picked are kind of boring. These characters look boring. They look kind of whack. They don't look interesting. And it just, I, my interest levels are at like a mid at best. You know, I'm only seeing this movie based off of watching all the movies in the franchise. I'm only doing it basically because I am a horror fan and that's what the hell I do. So that's the reason why I'm going into this movie. I'm not going into it with any high expectation that this is going to be a fantastic film. None of these movies will ever, ever be as good as the first movie or come in close, like, or anywhere near the second movie, even though the first movie is the upper echelon of these films. So that's my uh, thoughts and opinions. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree, whatever the case may be. Drop your comments in the comment section down below. And this is Dave from the 80s. You are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Adios. Have a good day.